<laughs> okay, so what the hell were we doing? Some security changes, yeah. Oh, that was it, yeah. So the computer looked to be overriding stuff because it's basically possessed by that dead guy, I believe. Uh, how do I get my PDA out? Can't remember. Jesus. How long has it been since I've played this? Use datepad Q. There we go. Why didn't it come up when I pressed every key on my keyboard? Objective! Head back to the ship first. Mon scans. Yeah. Uh. How are we doing? Uh, where are we? So we're here. That was the security station we were just in. Uh, once more scans. But my only mission. Oops. That was the one thing that annoyed me about this. was every time we escape it just brings the menu up instead of putting away stuff. Uh, alpha Labs... Don't think I've got any codes for these yet. New codes 4336 for the elevators. Engine room. I do like how um, it's like e-paper. It's that subtle bleed in and out. And now I've thought to myself, I forgot what that code was. Uh, 4336, but also 5690. Don't think that'll work though. Login rejected. Login rejected. Mm. Okay. Oh, it was an elevator code though, wasn't it? Do you know what? I'm just going to check it a third time. And, uh, yeah, it was 4336. Maybe I'll find something here. Maybe. Storage unit five. It's highly specific. The storage unit. Star drop soundtrack volume two. Ship with its own soundtrack. Uh, right, 
HS is from Gale. Let's contact me later to change key code. Not sure what's going on. Large number of codes been changed. So that should include keypad security interfaces and computer terminals. Been busy all day trying to track down what's been altered and restoring original codes. Colin Weld currently away on ground mission after went to Lee's back for money to start a proper investigation. For now, I've changed the key code. Key code. Keypad. Oh god. Keypad code leading to the exhibition and greenhouse elevator. There you go. Just make sure the key code is nine five one one. We you guys haven't run into any trouble down there. Blah blah blah. That's what we needed. This leads to the greenhouse, but it's locked. I guess I can try to find the passcode. There you oh, go. There we go. Did I not just say that? Oh, cool. Nothing. These plants are all incredibly well preserved. I guess the androids are still maintaining the ship. What? Oh, no, they're just growing. <laughs> now that's old school. So I will steal it. Oh, uh, is that another developer log? Uh, possible tasks. Some greenhouse concentrated on finding alien plant life as opposed to the ship looking for alien animal life. Okay, some information about the tree. I mean, I do like that they kind of flush the ship out, but at the same time, it's a lot of dead space. Especially where you can't interact with things. Expedition report. Is seven. So they found life on one of the planets. That's insane. In Cassiopeia. That, in fact, is from the IAU's website, I think. <laughs> the team is able to touch down uh, Poirier, uh Botany Research 2544. Six months extensive research to the biological makeup of the planet. Tim was able to safely explore the surface. It led to the discovery of several new and unknown species of plant, including the. It's really blurry. Hang on. There we go. Uh, Bulliv stellaris and the Rosa peruta. No incidents occurred during the duration of the mission. Okay. I'll pick it up though. Uh, two, five, four, four. I guess this is where they grow the veggies. I mean, how many people are on the ship? Because that is not a lot. Oh, there was that other door, wasn't there? That didn't go through. I'm gonna get eaten by an alien plant. <sighs> Who's there? What the? A 
had to say it, didn't I? Are you... Are you talking to me? Aaron? Aaron Vance? Uh, yes. How did you... No. Oh, no. This can't be real. Mm. Ido? Ido Hamada? That seems to be the case. Thank you for coming. You have no idea how much this... I'm sorry to interrupt you, Ido, but I'm just a tiny little bit very much confused right now. What happened to you? I... I don't remember. How in God's name did you end up on the star drop? I'm sorry, Aaron. I, I honestly don't know. There are so many things that I can't seem to remember. You do realize that you're not even supposed to be here, right? Yes. I do realize that, but I couldn't tell you how I ended up here in this greenhouse, sitting under this tree trapped inside this broken down android body. So, what do you remember then? Um, I remember not the fact that he's supposed to be fucking dead. To the bridge, I was able to directly contact you. I've been sitting here, waiting for you ever since. Other than that, I don't remember much at all, except for my name and who I'm supposed to be. Well, I didn't know what to expect when I got your message. I guess I'll have to wait before anything will start to make sense. So, yeah, I'm here to help. Mm. What's the objective? All I know is what's stored on this data pad. My main objective is to reset the mainframe. Okay, so how do we do that? Our first priority is to restart the two reactor cores, which in turn will reset the entire ship. After that, we'll have to head over to the mainframe and reboot it. Right now, of course. The section is blocked off from each other. Rebooting the mainframe should reset the security locks and everything should be fine. And you'll get your memory back. Yeah. I should be able to answer all of your questions. I have a lot of them myself. Yeah. That's when I realized that I killed everybody. It's nice to finally meet you. Likewise, Miss Aaron Vance. And thank you. Thank you for coming here. It's what I do. A uh, quick question. How are you going to follow me? Oh, yes, I almost forgot. There's an instant messaging system that the crew use to interact with each other. Since I'm just interfacing with this Android, oh, no. simply upload the program to your suit, and I'll be able to follow you around that way. Hold on. It's a fucking Navi. Well, hello there. Hi, Ido. Welcome aboard the SS Air Vance. <laughs> You're funny. You need to relax. Okay. I'll guide you from here on. I guess we can go down to the labs. We need to head towards the office section. Alright. Let's go then. Okay. Uh, no. He does. Send out the SDO one as far as it'll go. Once it's found, the sensor on board will reactivate you. Give a direct link to whoever is on board but after inside the bridge if you communicate. If it does arrive, then you manage it. So I'll restart the two reactor cores and reboot the mainframe. Then it's a complete reset through the entire ship. After that, you'll be able to execute your plan. <sighs> the plan turns out he's evil and he just doesn't remember yet. Right? See what I mean about sort of the wasted space? Welcome here, just look at the view, it changes when we travel, but right now, right here, it's perfect. Most of the crew is asleep. Uh, I like to sneak up here and reflect on myself the day I had or what we're doing tomorrow. So someday I might be able to come up here and share it with someone special. Well, you can't because you're dead. Or blasted out in space. 
it just buzz is the same thing. I do like the fact that everything is moving but not necessarily at the same rate. That's spinning the fastest there, uh, pretty slow. That is incredibly slow rotation. That's different. I do like that. Not everything's just been put in spinning at the same rate. Uh, so this was pointless. Sorry. Ooh. Ooh. One of the star drops main objectives is to search for new life. Our planetary research program has been created for this very purpose. Is that intentional? And after spending two decades in deep space, we finally found that new life on planet Aurora 7. Our science team has been able to study these new plant species rigorously. And after numerous tests and studies, we have embraced these new species and given them a place on board our ship. Our centerpiece is the belief stellaris, also known as the spiral tree. The Rose of Peruta, which we named the Fire Rose, is one of the most extraordinary species our research team has discovered to date. It don't look like a rose. A fiery light emits through its cells, <laughs> which gives it its signature look. With these new discoveries, we continue our search throughout the universe. And our eyes gazing into a future of endless possibilities. Yeah, all right. I don't get why the audio is all choppy. Nothing else is. Okay. Oh. I'd turn those off. Hey, Ido. I forgot to mention. There's another problem. What's that? My partner, John, is still out there and we lost radio contact. Do you know if there's any way we can reach him? I'm sorry, Aaron. I have no idea. We should be able to get in touch with him when we reach the bridge. Okay. Thanks. This is an automated service announcement. All androids are now coming to kill you. Yeah, fucking you. Systems have been engaged. Security officers will arrive shortly to accommodate you to the nearest holding facility. Thank you. Oh, that's just great. Fuck you. Not to worry. The security system should be pretty much identical to the one you experienced in the SD-01. Got it. Don't stand too long in their field of view. Uh, okay. Right, so I just need to sort this out. There we go. And I can't remember if I was at the top or not. So I move me up the top so I can see the subtitles. Right. There. Let's move UI around a little bit. I work a bit better. Okay, so something's going to come and kill me. Yes. Oh, uh, cameras are on. I can see one down at the bottom. Oh, God, does that mean I've got to come all the way back up here if I trigger this? Star drink. Uh, crew report. So I noticed that mainframe seems to be running a bit slow today. Not creeping or anything, it's taking a second too longer than usual. Of course, being a perfectionist, I am investigating thinking I'd found a memory leak. Or oh, heaven forbid, malware. 
Every server, every file, every DLL could find nothing. Three other searching, an application running in the background only seems to do one thing. It adds the word NX7 to the source code of the mainframe. So it does. NX7. Never heard of it. Running any, every antivirus, anti malware, and decryption program I can find, I'll get to the bottom of this. Ah! Right, I don't want to go to the main lobby. I want to... Fuck off. Okay, I'll just walk through the field of view. <laughs> Down slightly. <laughs> Uh, we've been in there. Okay, Aaron, turn here. We need to head to the office. Gotcha. I hope you don't mind, but I can send you messages. Ah, oh, nuts. I forgot the elevator's locked down. Hold on. But It looks like I can interface with the section of the ship we're in. So, yeah. Where are my superpowers, I guess. <laughs> huh. That'll come in handy. I have my limitations, but I'll do it. Nine five one one was it? Yeah. Oh, I've done it again. So oh, annoying. And pressing escape doesn't bring you back out of the menu. It's really annoying. Login rejected. Yeah. Okay then. So we've got to play a game of hide and seek with the uh, androids now. That's a guess. So this is the office section. That's right. You can sneak around a bit if you want, but I gotta press for time. I'll keep that in mind. Nope, I'll be snooping. Is this uh? Closed. Okay. Hmm. The cubicle section is blocked off. Maybe later on we'll get a chance to look around. So, Aaron, I was just wondering about you and John. Yes? I'm guessing you guys work closely together? John's my boy. He looks out for me and handles the more technical aspects. Hmm. Are you two together? Together? As in a relationship? Yeah. Me and John? That's cute. I care for him, but I think we both know it'd be wrong. It would mess up our whole dynamic. We're both loners, I guess. I see. That actually makes a lot of sense. Good on you two. So, Ito, how about you? Do you... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I forgot. It's okay. I have... Have... A wife and daughter. But I... I can't remember anything about them. No memories or anything. Just a fleeting feeling of them. I... Okay, let's change topic. Why did you become a pioneer? I mean, it must have been incredibly exciting. Being at the forefront of space exploration, right? Huh. Well, I obviously can't remember any details, but I know I wanted to bring back the wonder to the people of Earth, you know? We've been growing ever more cynical as a human race, trying to turn everything into numbers and data, new equations, as if... Startup Cafe. Life is nothing special. Just, a Just an accident. That's kind of why I do what I do as well. Uh, I forgot how you do this. What? Well, 
What? Another one? Double save unit. Okay. Right, that turns down to engineering, so we will save it and move down to B deck. Apparently, we were numbers before, but now it's B. Okay. Right, we'll pick this up in the next episode. Wee!